ट्री so system used for describing the position of a point the important thing is you should know is it is used to describe the position of a point theek hai in a plane now two number lines one horizontal and one vertical they intersect such a way that their zeros form a cartesian plane two or two vertical one vertical one horizontal lines perpendicular to each other they intersect and they form cartesian plane the horizontal line is known as x axis vertical line is known as y axis all of us know it the point where these lines intersect each other is called the origin so this point is called origin so origin is the point of intersection of both the coordinate axes origin is the point of intersection of both the coordinate axes that is denoted by o all right the axis plural of the word axis divide the plane into four parts as you can clearly see it divides into four parts and these parts are called quadrants they are called quadrant this is quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 all right both all these four quadrants we can clearly see the sign of the both uh, of the points which are going to be there suppose in the first quadrant both x and y axis will be positive in the second quadrant x will be negative y will be positive remember always we will first write the x coordinate and then we will write the y coordinate in the third quadrant both are negative and in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so just by looking at a point suppose if i have a point minus 7 comma 2 so here x is negative y is positive i can clearly say this point will be in the second quadrant as simple as that it will be in second quadrant just by looking at the point suppose if i have minus 2 comma minus 3 so both are negative so that will be the third quadrant and so on The next coordinate of a point is marked by the drawing perpendicular from the y-axis to the point. It is called abscissa. So x coordinate or abscissa of any point. Suppose this is the coordinate over here. What is the x coordinate? So definition wise, according to definition, x coordinate is distance of a point. X coordinate or abscissa is distance of a point. from y axis so from y axis y axis is over here distance that is perpendicular drop the perpendicular this distance will be called x coordinate similarly y coordinate y coordinate will be distance of a point from x axis so drop a perpendicular on x axis and this distance will be your y coordinate all right that is the definition part but when we do the shortcut what we do we will drop the perpendicular on both the axis wherever this point is over here this point will be the x coordinate see from here to here if it is x obviously this will also be x and here if it is y this will also be y all right clear theek hai so this is how this part will be done then origins coordinate are 0 comma 0 if a point is present on x axis if a point is present on x axis its y coordinate will be 0 if a point is present on x axis y coordinate 0 that means the point are in the form of x comma 0 and opposite if a point is present on y axis the x coordinate will be 0 so the point will be in the form of 0 comma y all right 0 comma y this is how the point will look like now this is all there in your uh, this coordinate geometry easy topic now before i move ahead let me tell you one very important thing that is that if you are still feeling like you need some guidance and uh, even if your grade 9th exams are still going on or say your grade 9th exams are over and you are going to grade 10th and there you think that it is a very important time for you uh, where you need some guidance or you have cleared your grade 8 and now you have come to grade 9th and you think grade 9th is the time from where you should start focusing uh in your examinations from the starting from your 9th 9th 10th 11th 12th these are very important years 
So you can join Vedantu's Pro subscription and definitely this is going to help you a lot because in this you are going to get first thing unlimited live classes. You can attend as many classes as you want without uh, thinking like only two classes, three classes per day. You can attend as many classes as you like. It, the limit is all up to you. And all the classes are going to be filled with fun and high level quizzes. Then you will be able to compete with the students throughout the world. So obviously the students will be from the different parts of the world. So you'll be able to know that where do you stand. Then interactive replay, that means suppose if you missed a live class. Now in that case, when you watch a recording, most of the time the recording is like just you're watching the recording and uh, you're done with the part. But here in the interactive replays, after while watching the recording, you will be able to attempt the quizzes which are there in the lecture. You'll be able to attempt the quiz. You'll be able to attempt, uh, you'll be getting marks for those quizzes and you will see your name in the leaderboard if you are doing good enough. So that is a very good feature. Even while watching a replay, you will not walk, feel that you are watching a replay of a class and you will feel that you are watching a live class. Alright, then the notes, premium downloadable notes in the handwriting of your teacher will be given to you and a dedicated teacher to take care of your doubts. We don't want any of your doubts to go unresolved. That is why a dedicated teacher to take care of your doubts. And other than that, 5000 plus micro courses will be offered and micro courses are topic specific course. So you can attend all those courses and complete all your topics in whatever period of time you want. And crash courses, that is a revision courses are also free of cost. Remember, less is more, less price, more classes. So the link is mentioned in the description box of this video and the uh, coupon code is GPE Pro to get 20% off. So how you can register for this course? Simple. Suppose this is the YouTube, any of the video of this page. Now, you go to the description box here you can see subscribe to Vedanta Pro now or in the pinned comment section also this link is over here click on any one of that okay now you can select your grade 9 if you want to take for grade 9 you can select grade 9 if you want to take for grade 10 you can take for grade 10 for example let's say you have cleared your grade 9 or you want to go for grade 10 all right so you can click on grade 10 and then click on CBSC 2022 or ICSE 2022 or Maharashtra Board 2022 next year because you have just come to grade 10. Suppose you have just come now in grade 9, so you should go for CBSE 2022, ICC 2022 and so on. So just click on CBSE 2022 and you can see the per month price over here is shown. Just click on proceed to pay and click here to get coupon code GPE Pro and apply. So this will give you a discount and this will be your final price. Now suppose first you have taken for one month. For, suppose first you have taken it for one month now once you got satisfied no sir i want to take the whole course you can directly go for the one year part and you're going to save definitely the money over there because you can clearly see if you will take till march 2022 your price per month decreases and on top of that you will be getting 20 percentage off as well all right so you are getting quite good things beta over here all right your whole structure full syllabus will be covered assignments will be given to you chapter wise test performance report all the important things you are getting all right so this is a very good thing right now and you can see your sessions once you'll be registering for this this is how you'll be able to see your sessions see this will be how you'll be seeing your timetable you can go for the past classes to see the notes of the previous session just click on the past class and you can see the notes of whatever previous class we had. You can see the notes from here. You can download the notes from here as well. And then you can watch the replay or by clicking on the replay button. This is how you can do all of this. All right, beta. So this is what you are going to get all these things under one roof. So very good course right now for all of you. Now let's move ahead for the next chapter that is linear equation into variable. So for linear equation in two variable, the first thing is very important general form. It is AX plus BY plus C equal to zero. Where A, B and C are real numbers. And A and B both should not be equal to zero. That means together they both should not be equal to zero linear because the power of the variable is one and two variables are there x and y that is why it is a linear equation in two variable okay then 
Solution will be in the form of an ordered pair. We can write, we'll write it in the form of an ordered pair. Okay, x comma y, like we write the coordinates. And when we plot the coordinates, we get a straight line. All right, number of solutions. So there exist infinitely many solutions. There exist infinitely many solutions. Suppose if I have x plus y equal to 3. So if I put x equal to 0 in this equation, 0 plus y is equal to 3, you got y equal to 3. So first solution you got x equal to 0, y equal to 3. Now if I put x equal to 1, 1 plus y equal to 3, you got y equal to 2. So second solution is 1 comma 2. Then if you put x equal to 2, so 2 plus y equal to 3, so you got y equal to 1. So second solution is 2 comma 1. Now this way, I can put x as 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, half, minus 9 by 2, anything I can put. So for all the values, infinite values of x, I will get infinite values of y. That is why I will get infinite solutions. All right. Now when these solutions I will plot it on the graph, we get a straight line. We get a straight line. So this is how you will find out the solution for a linear equation in two variable. Okay. So remember, the graph is a straight line. Graph is a straight line. All right. So solution value you have to find out. Assume the value of any one variable. Assume that value. Put that value in the equation. Solve it for the second variable. This is the method every time. Now equation of y axis x coordinate equal to zero. See, remember we have told you. I have, I have told you already that when we have x equal to zero. Sorry, when we have x equal to constant, x equal to some constant, if this is the form of equation is given, x equal to some constant, you can clearly say in this part, this line is perpendicular to, this line will be perpendicular to y-axis and will pass through A on x-axis. Okay? And if we have y equal to b, then this line is perpendicular to x accent and pass through b on y axis. Let me suppose if these are your coordinates, all right, and I will draw a line. This line, this is perpendicular to x axis. Sorry. Here I have written it wrong. Right. So, here perpendicular axis will pass through the point A. This is perpendicular to y axis. I should have written parallel to y axis. Okay, so this line x equal to a, this line x equal to a is perpendicular to x axis and it is passing through the point a on x axis. A se pass karegi. Similarly, beta, ye wali line jo hogi, this will be passing through b, this line will be representing y equal to b. So ab suppose yaha pe agar 2 hai, so this line will be represented as y equal to 2. Ab suppose here, if we have minus 2, so this line will be represented as x is equal to minus 2 and so on. Now, as I can see, ki sir, y axis, y axis may, it should be, see, if a line is vertical, its equation should be x equal to something. And from where, which point it is passing through, it is passing through 0, so x equal to 0. Equation of y axis, x equal to 0. Equation of x axis, y equal to 0. All right. Line passing through origin, although it is not in your syllabus, so no need to go for it. Isko baad mein chhod dena. We'll do it later. Not now. But all these is important. Okay? So this is all there in your part. Remember this thing, beta. If a line is a vertical line, its equation will be x equal to constant. And a horizontal line, its equation will be y equal to constant. Very important thing. A vertical line, x equal to constant. Horizontal line, y equal to constant. So x equal to constant is a line perpendicular to x axis. That means it is a vertical line and it will pass through the point A on x axis. And y equal to B. So this line is perpendicular to the y axis or a horizontal line. It will pass through the point B on y axis. 
all right these are some important questions again i have told you the link for registration is mentioned in the description box gp pro is your code to get 20 percentage off all right so thank you so much bachcho yaar for joining the session and i hope all of you understood this part please don't forget to like the video share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here thank you so much bachcho for joining the session i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara for the office to all of you bye bye